Oh, yes. Yes, sir. What a day it's going to be indeed. Well, I know uh, it's going to be special when I get a call from you. Well, you know, on your behalf, I've been making deposits, sending receipts and reports, and taking care of all those records. Yeah, but it's not enough. I'm getting older and so are you. With us both getting older, we have to execute a plan to take the wealth to the next level. When my mother died, I told her I would take care of things. I'm making a ton of money for you with the various uh, real estate dealings and the investments got a significant half severance from uh, the U.S.'s largest auto manufacturer. So I'd say uh, you're doing all right. So for Pete's sakes, what is it you want now? <laughs> it's not a want. I'm building a legacy. My question to you is why are you questioning me and my dealings? Well, for one thing, I was brought in here to legitimize your funds. A job well done, I might add. And while making you really disappear from the game, which again, I've done pretty well. So why not just enjoy the family and enjoy your, your twilight years? <laughs> You're talking enjoy the journey. I'm not finished yet. I worry about my children and my grandchildren. There's so much different these days. I need to build a legacy three generations strong. All right, so, so what now? <laughs> I'm glad you finally asked. I need a small upstart with a good idea but without the know-how to get it off the ground. All right, I've got it. Have you heard a title? That's a stupid question, I know you have. Too big. Remember, I want to stay under the radar. And I don't have a stake in the entertainment world. Hold on, I, I, I've got to, um, I've got a muscle supplement I've got to take. So you want something small, a seed that you can grow, so to speak. Well, with your capital, you can buy the whole thing and keep yourself as a silent partner. Is that what I'm getting at? Huh? Live and color production. Ah. Uh. I know the title was too large. Now, I didn't know that they were going from feast to famine. Why live in color productions? Uh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, let me pull this up on, on my computer I got here. All right, I just pulled it up. Uh, I'm, I'm not getting it. I watched this kid take an idea and build it into a business that could definitely use the capital. They have a large, if not the largest, catalog of artists before they became somebody. The title has a large catalog, but they have none of this. I don't see how I fit in. Besides, I don't get the perspective. Live and color productions filed for a fictitious license and name in 92. Doing live shows. Least access TV. <laughs> and controlled all the profits while producing shows for virtually nothing from government funds. <laughs> uh, my dear man, this is going to be fun. Really? <laughs> fun? I don't think so. Many have tried, but they are a shrewd establishment. 
There's a reason why they've been untapped for so long. I need you to do your homework. Fill them out. Set up a meeting. See where we can get in. Where we can get in. Our objective mostly is to get that catalog before they know what they have or anyone else. Something I did not want to wear. 